Hey everybody, another video with my hair in a ponytail and that is because it is really, really needing to be colored but I can't get in to get it done for another like week or so. <laughs> it's very sad actually. Might be two weeks. Anyhow, so yeah, the next few videos will probably be me with a ponytail until this can get over to here. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the empties because there's a lot of stuff again. I use the same bag every month to do the empties video. And I was just checking because I thought that I saw, see that yellow spot? I thought something was leaking, but it's just a shadow of something. So anyway, one of the things that I used up, <clears throat> excuse me, was the Pantene Repair and Protect, go over here, Miracle Repairing Shampoo. I have talked about this in the past a ton. I love, love this shampoo. I know it's not really, really good for color treated hair, but uh, the conditioner is really amazing too. And I don't know, it's just, it's really nice because it doesn't break my hair and it just helps it to go longer between cuts, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's just really, really good. And it smells nice. I also used up quite a few masks, like quite a few. Um, to start off with, I used up two of the Face Shop Lemon Masks. These are these ones right here. They are supposed to be brightening and clearing and all that stuff. And I've already told you in the past that for me, all they do is make my face feel really, really soft. I'm quite happy with them. I love them. I also used an aloe one because my face was drying out and I was having a lot of flaking action going on. Still am up here, but uh, that's, by the way, since I stopped using the L'Oreal Sika Cream. Isn't that hilarious? So anyway, uh, this was supposed to help to, you know, restore some moisture, etc. It works to soften my face. <laughs> I don't know. It did take a little bit of the flaking away, but that's probably got something to do with the exfoliating properties in it. And I thought I used more masks. I'm wrong. Okay, so I used three. Uh, I got this from the Dollar Tree, if you can imagine that. This is the Spa Naturals Luxury Collection Bath Bombs, Lavender Dreams. And I actually really liked these. Uh, they were like bath bombs. I mean, you put them in the water and they were doing their explosion thing. Not as intense as Lush, but a lot more intense than a lot of those cheap ass bath bombs. <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't turn my nose down at that one. It fizzed a lot. There was three of them in here. Definitely worth it if you can get those at Dollar Tree. You already know I used up a crap ton of the Sika cream. I'm going out to buy some of this stuff. It's incredible. If you haven't seen it yet, please do check out my L'Oreal Sika Cream experiment that I did week one, week two, three, and week four as to how that affected my face. Just go check it out. I used up a Crest Scope um, Complete. Crest Complete. It's got cat fur on it. Gross! Anyway, <laughs> it's a good toothpaste. I don't know. Crest Colgate. You can't go wrong. You know what I mean? I also finished a Gliss Hair Repair Color Guard Conditioner. Really good product. Really amazing for color treated hair. Does help to extend the life of my color. It also really does a beautiful job on softening my hair. Doesn't break my hair. Love this stuff. Was shocked at how well it did. What a good job it did. Makeup. I'm done with this, okay? It's just driving me nuts. This is the Naked Urban Decay Naked on the Run palette. This is an extremely bulky palette that came out a few years ago. Uh, it had a lovely mirror and a lot of product in here, but, oh, I gotta take the lipstick out. We are not done with the lipstick. Oh, geez, just, oh, hang on here. Put that over there. Oh, I'm done with this, and the reason I'm done with this is because it's uh, just used up. I'm, I've used it and used it and used it. I've been using it for a couple of years now and the blush doesn't look all that great on me. The bronzer doesn't look all that great on me. The shadows were incredible. The highlighter was a little bit rough, but yeah, I don't think you can get this anymore anyway, but I'm glad to see it go because it was bulky and stupid. Okay, I also used up some Dollar Tree cotton rounds. These are fine in a pinch. They will leave cotton behind. They'll drag on your face. 
Um, I don't really care about that. If I'm just using them to take off makeup and go to bed, it's not a big deal to me if it wants to drag all over the place. This is something I used up, and it may not look used up, but it's done. This is one of my favorite products ever. This is the Caudalie Eau de Beauté, the beauty elixir water that smells like grapes. It is wonderful. My friend got this for me in France and brought it to me. However, it doesn't spray anymore. I've soaked it in hot water. I've done everything you're supposed to do. And I guess we're done. <laughs> so yeah, we're done with this. I bought a new one anyway, so we're good. <laughs> That's a really, really lovely product, by the way. If you're not wearing a lot of makeup and it's really, really hot outside, you spritz your face with that and it's just incredible. It'll cool your face down immediately. It has a little bit of a tingle to it, so it makes you feel like your face is cooling down anyway. Wonderful product. I used up two of these. These are travel size, the Olay Body Wash. This one is in... Shea butter, and I liked the smell of this, and the effect was fine. It didn't dry my skin out. It was good for when I traveled. This one was the strawberry, white strawberry. Uh, it was a cooling one. White strawberry and mint. Didn't like the smell of it whatsoever. Didn't find it cooling whatsoever, but it cleaned my body, and that's what I needed when I was traveling. I used up a whole bunch of Nudu products. Well, here they are. So I used up the Reviving Toner, and I love the Nudu products, as you know. This is not called Nudu anymore. It's called Pelu, P-E-L-L-U. I also used up a Pelu Gel Cleanser, and I used up the eye cream. This is one of the best eye creams out there. Oh, I love this eye cream so much. It would soften the skin under my eyes, it seems to help with the fine lines, probably because it's got the, uh, oh, what is that stuff called? It's an anti-aging one. And hyaluronic acid, that's what it has in it. I was trying to remember what the name of that was. So the hyaluronic acid does plump up your lines and make it look, for a while anyway, like you're younger. Here's something that I totally didn't like. This is the Sebastian Shaper Plus uh, hairspray. Got this at the hair hairdressers for $9. And it didn't hold my hair much at all. In fact, it's, it didn't do anything for me. It didn't um, keep the flyaways down. Flyaways all over the place here. I didn't like that one. The smell of it reminded me of my mom though because she uses it all the time. I used up three of these, not on my face, four of these, and one of these. Oh my goodness. So these are the, oh gosh, the LA uh, Fresh Travel Light Makeup Wipes. I don't use these on my face. In the summertime, I use them on my feet because when I'm traveling a lot, if I have to go through a remote area sometimes you get a lot of sand or dirt or grass or something in your sandals and it gets kind of gross so when I get back in my vehicle I use those to wipe my feet off yeah I'm kind of funny that way maybe eh and there's one from the hotel actually and oh oh another one huh. another just so you don't think I'm pulling out the same one there's two Pelu gel cleansers that I went through and you all know that I used my Maybelline Total Temptation uh, mascara, which is an incredible mascara. I did a review on that as well. Go back in my channel, you'll see it. This is the Body Shop Drops of Youth. This was sent to me by Top Box uh, in a big box of, how would you want to call that? Uh, animal cruelty free cruelty free products this actually has the bunny on the back so you definitely know it's a cruelty free product however I didn't like it it was supposed to reduce wrinkles make my face feel younger look younger the whole bit it was a sticky mess didn't enjoy it whatsoever I did enjoy the fact that it had a nice dropper but it did nothing for me I tried it several times and no too sticky my face felt tight I would not use that one. I used up a few more samples here. This is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner that I have. And I didn't care for that one very much. 
I kind of felt like it was drying my hair out. Not sure why. Smells great though. This is the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. Took that with me on a trip and I loved it. It has some great coverage and it's really easy to blend. And I would definitely recommend this foundation. I just have like a thousand foundations now. I should probably show you my foundation collection. I did get rid of a couple of them. If you're interested in seeing a foundation collection, then hit the like button down below. Thank you. Uh, I also used this up. This was the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. There's no research to back up. No real research to back up. Stem cells making you look younger. They die by the time they get into your product. So it's nothing that has you know, with stem cells is going to help you, really, I'm telling you. <laughs> Done the research, been there. And it felt nice on my skin. I always think Juice Beauty has some great products. I'm not going to buy this or anything, but it was good in a pinch, and I appreciated the sample. That's everything. How did you like that one? So that was the August Empties, and I will probably doing a favorites pretty soon as well. I do hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.